you are here, your son, your brother is in jail, prison. I'm talking about jail, prison, incarceration. Walk to me right now. Because a door has been opened right now. God has broken the attack. Listen to me. How many years did they give to him? How many years? How many years? 39 years. Come to me. 39. Because I saw that an angel broke that door. Jesus. Jesus. My God. 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 Break. Oh my God. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Sister, don't cry. Church. New Orleans, listen to me, New Orleans, listen, New Orleans, New Orleans, New Orleans. The reason why I saw is that if it was not by this revival and by this prayer, he was going to commit suicide tomorrow morning. He was going to commit suicide tomorrow morning. He was going to commit suicide tomorrow morning. But the Lord says, Daniel... Cancel the suicide and bring him out. Oh! The Lord says, cancel the suicide and bring him out. Cancel the suicide and bring him out. Oh my God. My God. Give me the envelopes. Oh my God. My God. Oh! They messed up his life. Everything started because of a friend. You spoke to him about this friend issue. He never listened. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. The Lord is saying to me, Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. How can the devil put somebody behind the bar for 39 years? 39 years. So why were you born? Why were you born? You came to stay somewhere. No. Listen, the assignment of the prophet is to break the cycle of the enemy. Jesus, young girl, come to me, come to me. Are you in a relationship? Come to me. Come to me. Anything that wants to mess you up, it will not happen. Come and stand here. Nothing will mess you up. Nothing will mess you up. Stand here. Let me deal with this case and I let me help this young lady. Do you know something? Brother, that, was, is, that, that is in jail right now. Do you know what I see? Was to, so, well, he was supposed to own three banks in this city. But the enemy has sat him behind the prison. But look at me. The Lord says the prison door is going to be opened. They are going to open the case. I know relationship. Is somebody talking to you? You're talking to someone? Yes. Because I see you speaking to this man. And out of the speaking, the other guy thinks it's a relationship. But it's like you are not ready to get into it. Because you are afraid of what the other guys did to you. Even last year, the mess you went through. Mm-hmm. Sister, last year you went through a horrible relationship. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. That is the Lord that rescued you. And the Lord is saying to you that right now, because of that, you have been afraid to enter into. But this one that is talking to you wants to enter into relationship, but your heart is telling you, be careful. Your heart is telling you, be careful. Yes. Listen to me. The Lord says it's not your heart, it's God talking to you. Because if you visit that relationship, that will be the end of your life. Listen. I'm not talking, I'm, I'm not saying he's not good. No, I'm not saying he's bad. But I'm telling you, because God doesn't want the hurt you went through last year and also 2015. Oh, Jesus. What you went through in 2015, sister, it's only God that helped you. You remember? Yes. You nearly lost your mind. <laughs> You remember? Yes. You nearly lost your mind. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. The young girl, don't cry. Don't cry. Church, let's pray for her. Do you know what I see? 
If we don't stop that attack, the Lord says it will be a cycle. It will be a cycle. She goes to a relationship and she comes out wounded. Young girl, the Lord says, as you are standing here, you are wounded. You are wounded. You are never a happy girl. Even last night, I see you crying on your bed. Everybody come. Everybody stretch out your hands. Let all the preachers around her. Let all the preachers around her. Because this is a big, a big, there is a mask in her face. And that mask in her face always draw negative people around her. Preachers, let's pray for her. Let's stop it now. Let's stop it now. Sorry. Let's stop it now. New Orleans, do you want to go home? Talk to me. Do you want to go home? After all, this is the last night, right? Let's have a good time. Who knows whether you'll you, you be the next person to get your prophecy. Jesus, we break the cycle. Father, deliver this young girl. Father, deliver her. Father, deliver her. Now, by fire. Somebody, let's pray. Let's pray for her. Let's pray for her. Pray for her in the next three minutes. Just still pray for her. Somebody say it's broken. It's broken. Now let's go and sit down. I was come. Listen. Whilst the preachers were preaching to her, I was telling her that young girl, what happened to you last year in 2015 is over. And she's been crying. I said, why are you crying? She said, because I didn't care about life and I was going to commit suicide. Somebody, before we continue, let's all thank God for the chief apostle for organizing this revival. Oh, let's thank God for the chief apostle for organizing this revival. Now sit down, listen. Listen, sit down. Look at the number of lives. The number of lives. The number of lives that have been saved. Look at this young lady. What she was going to enter into. Look this lady. What she was going to enter. She said, I didn't care about life anymore. And I wanted to commit suicide. God will not sit down for the enemy to prevail. I came all the way from Africa to speak to the principality of New Orleans and Louisiana that they have lost their battle. Oh, they have lost their battle. They have lost their battle. They have lost their battle. Listen. That guy that has started talking to you, sister, obey me as a prophet. There was going to be another broken heart. There was going to be another broken heart. That's why I saw some children with him. That I told you, I see children with him. And how many children did he say he have? Three. Is it with one woman? Wait, we'll say that again. Is it with one woman? Mm -hmm. One woman? Yes. But there are no more? Right. The Lord is saying to me that, although there are no more, but they still talk. They still communicate. And the Lord says, you are not the only lady he's speaking to. He's speaking to two other ladies. I'm talking about Tiffany and Stephanie. 
Jesus. My God. <laughs> Shout prophesy. Shout prophesy. Shout prophesy. Talking about Tiffany. 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 And Stephanie. And the Lord says, one of them was going to hear that he's talking to you. So because of that, one of the girls, Tiffany, was going to fight you because I saw you walking on the road and, and she come to attack you and say why are you talking to my man and you say to yourself ah if your man I'm not even doing anything with him but it was a setup but look at me God is going to give you good marriage oh I, I declare I prophesy God will give this girl good marriage God will give you good marriage Listen, look into your family. No woman has ever had good marriage. No woman, no woman. Right. No woman, no woman, no woman. Because a curse was placed in your family in the year of 1974. And since then, women struggle in marriage. That you will, you will meet a man. The man will have a baby with you, but the man will not marry you. Do you have a baby? I do. Jesus. And the man never married you, right? The Lord is saying to me that that is the issue. But listen, two things that the Lord is saying become very close to God. If you become very close to God, I give you less than six months. You are going to meet the man of your dreams. Go ahead. Sister, the man that will marry you and put you in a mansion. Sister, you belong to the mansion. You belong to the mansion. And I see the man buying your, the, the car you love so much for you. I'm talking about the BMW car. The black one. That is the car you love so much. As I'm talking about, even last week, you were talking about it. That when I make money, the first car I'll buy is the BMW, the black one. Clap your hands to the name of the Lord. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. The Lord will never disgrace you. Sister, follow God. Follow, serve after God. Yes. Serve after God. Yes. Sister, don't chase money again. Chase after God. Yes. If you chase after God, money will, not, money will begin to chase you. The Lord will keep you and the Lord will preserve your life. Go in peace. Go and marry. Go and succeed. Go and make it. Listen, never think. Never think it's over. Just because you think you are a single parent, no. The man coming is going to love your child so well. Going to love your child so well. That's what the Lord is saying. Your child is so intelligent. <laughs> See that child? So intelligent with wisdom. Wisdom. The Lord said the child will begin to become one of the great men and the great people upon the land. And the goodness of God, the blessing of God, elevation of God will take over. Your time has come. The Lord is with you. But whatever was done against you when you were young, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I reverse it. The Lord says, what happened to you when you were young? God says, he's repairing you. God is renovating. Because what happened to you when you were young is what nearly made you to lose your self-wealth. You thought your life was over because of the incident that happened when you were young of somebody you trusted, but the person let you.